Simmons through half a hole. Simone out the back to Iki Tau. And Valentini has been picked off by Mataele. Mataele is going to go the length for the Western Force. And they will take the lead early in this second half. Beautifully read by the big man. <laughs> You're right, Swaney. That was beautiful work from Mataele. So much so that it even filled our cameraman. And this is the build-up. Good play here from Simone at the back to Iki Tau. Looked like Valentini was going to the touchline. Referee went, oh sorry, the referee's assistant fell over. Martelli just too much pace. Well, the only thing more impressive than the build-up from the Brumbies with 14 men maintaining their shape is this choice, this risk, this left hand from Martelli. Everyone smiling in the background, even the assistant referee. That's a big moment. 14-point turnaround, you'll think, with Valentin going, Valentini going down. Tidies it up, sends it over for Jordan. Jordan looking to outpace Hooper. Wright reads it, Wright steals it, and the race is on. Wright v Moonga, in and away. Tom Wright! Wright! Get it down! Wow. What about that? The stick and move from Tom Wright. Kiwis are coming. Tom Hooper here works hard to force that pass, put a bit of pressure on. Tom Wright, is he going to get there? He's faster than I can dream and blink, but look at him. He's turned Richie Moanga inside and out like a pair of socks. Manawalu. Good phase play this from the drill. We haven't seen a whole lot of it tonight. Handling has been tricky. Crushed into the pass. Gordon said, I'll take it. And I'll take it all the way for another five. Will pick up their first win. No wins last year, and Jake Gordon pounced. Fiji and Drew have been playing too flat tonight. The ball a little bit slippery, hard to move. Jake Gordon pounces and gets another try for the Waratahs. Again, just the, the lack of cohesion at times. Individually, they've been not bad than Drew, but just their combinations haven't quite clicked. They might take some time, and Jake Gordon, the timing was fantastic there. He's seen all the big boys in front of him scoring. Grant, Horton, Sinclair, there's room for New South Wales, but Jock Campbell read it, grabbed it, and he's running away for what might be the match winner for Queensland. He waits, he's on the right wing, he waits, he's in trouble. I tell you what, it was rocks or diamonds too from Jock Campbell, knocked that down, and your yellow card, but he runs 50 and scores try number four for the Queensland Reds. He's such an impressive footballer, Jock Campbell. And he gets up in the eye line of Tane Edmund and he dares him to try and beat him and he does and he loses Tane Edmund in the risk reward of that shifting pass and Campbell, he makes great decisions. He works hard off the ball. He comes up with this big play for his team and he takes an attacking bonus point provisionally into his team's keeping as well. They've had to stay in, smart play. Force, win the line out. And they set up the play, but it's been intercepted. And the Wanganita Wasi, he's away. This will be the first try for the Waratahs. And it's Marky Mark under the posts. All the way. It was a, it was a good play from the Western Force until that final pass. By throwing it over to Richard Kahui, the defence started to come in. But then he released it back out to the Western Force in a second wave. Play on. Oh, they take it quickly. Oh, oh they're giving it away. And here's the big lock, Josh Cannon. They're in again. He read that like a book. Oh, holy moly. While being in pursuit, here's the pass. It's ripped by Christie, who had turned his back. He stuck out the right mitt. Did Cannon. And oh, me, oh, my. They have set this game alight. Early doors, the Rebels. Oh, relentless start from the Rebels, isn't it? Another quick throw in from the Blues, trying to catch them unaware. It, it definitely gets more eyeballs on the TV watching this beautiful game we, we, we call rugby. And Rico's off. <laughs> Rico Ioane with the intercept. He read it beautifully. And another end-to-end -end try against the run of play for the Blues. Just as they were coming under real pressure again. Well, it was needed as well. Wasn't it? They're trying to shut down that outside, and once again, did it smartly. He rushes up. Did Rico Ioane. They've hardly had any position. They've been tackling as well. No fluency in the game. And the All Black speedster goes right under the black dot.